Hey all, Matt with Bobcat Bonsai here. It's a super windy, cold day, and I'm out here in my greenhouse, and you'll just hear the wind rattling this, uh, rattling the walls all around as we're going through and doing this. But today, we are going to work on this white pine right here. Um, so originally, I was planning on growing it nice and tall and allowing it to just become a full tree, but I've changed my mind. I like this root base right here really good. Um, I know it's not exactly ideal because it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it looks really awesome. So I'm gonna give it a shot and see what all I can get done with it. So, let me get set up here, get my wire, well my wire's out. Yeah, so let me get you set up and we'll get to it. All right, so to start with, I'm just gonna try to get rid of some of these dead tips that are on here, and the inner dead needles. Just clean them up a little bit, make sure that we don't have anything in here that we don't really want or need. If it's dying, we clearly don't need it, so that we can get rid of all through there. Um, let's take a look down into here. So, as you can see, we have one, two, three, and a fourth little guy coming out the back. So we're gonna have to decide which one of these little branches we're gonna wanna keep. We have some good buds started down here as well. And it looks like they're popped almost all the way around. Let me bring you in here real quick to take a look at them. So right in here is my good buds that I'm hoping to pop a nice branch out of. Looks like it might possibly pop two out of that exact same spot. So that'll end up being where my first branch is at, which kind of doesn't exactly work because it looks like the initial bend in the trunk is coming up through here and that's gonna be an outside. But I may actually try and take the whole trunk back this way a little bit more or plant it at an angle like that. Hmm. Yeah, because if I plant it at that angle and then I take and take my first bend in right in this area, that could work. That could definitely work. Let me get some wire on here real quick and then I'll be right back with you. All right, so I put some pretty thick wire on here. Um, so my overall goal now is basically gonna be just to take and get a nice bend just right in here. And that's about For right now that's all I'm really looking for for that piece that was some really thick wire which was why I did that off because that was my first time trying to use it and man maybe it's not as difficult to use when it's um warmer but that was pretty tricky for me so I'm just gonna throw some thinner wire up in here and this is just gonna be to try to get a little bit of a bend back Um, making sure I don't get any of the needles trapped in here. So, let me get all my needles pulled to where they need to be. I know I probably could have trimmed back some of these needles a little bit before I started this, but that's okay. That is okay. Now I know for next time. But I don't think I'm really going to do too much trimming as far as the needles go anyway today. I just want to get a little bit of shape in here. And that's 
That's about all I want to do with it. Just get a little bit of shape. I am removing some of these inner needles here. So that as I come to pull through here, they are out of the way. All right. So I got that one. And now we hit this nice wide open space right in here. Got another little needle stuck. So that's going to be all I'm going to do as far as the wiring up that way goes. So now with that there, all I want to do is bring the tree forward and back this way. So just a little bit of movement. Let's bring a little bit more forward here. I grab my little pliers real quick so I can get a cleaner bend here without hurting anything. So that's what I wanted right in there. Okay, so now that that's all taken care of, this is gonna pretty much be the front here. So now to sort through all these branches. Um, let me get some of these little needles out here. So we're looking in I'm gonna end up getting rid of this little branch right here because I have one two and there's actually a third one coming out the back a little ways that I will also be getting rid of because I have this nice branch that's back there yeah because if I don't if I don't take care of that now we're gonna get some really bad inverse taper that's gonna develop right inside there so I'm just gonna come in just real nicely take that one off then this is what I was talking about where we have one and then two this one's developing real nice and this one's still little so I'm gonna end up getting rid of the small one because that's the one that's sitting equal with the other two and I don't exactly want three growing out of the same spot here so get that little guy out all right so now that those two are out all I'm going to do next is grab some of my really thin wire here and just just try to lead them into the direction I want to go with so let's bring it back to the front view where you're looking at it I'm going to come across the back, come in, and the <laughs> this little branch is not very thick at all, so we're not really going to bend this at all. Our only goal is to just Basically just lead it in the direction I want it to go in here. Snow bend for now. Just a little bit of showing it where I want it to go. And that is... I'm going to take it down. I guess I bent it anyway. This one will be getting a little bit more shape as well because as you can see it has developed a little bit further than what that last one that we just did was. So let me get in here and make sure not to nip any of the little needles off. Get it there. 
All right, let me take a look at this with you. So this one I'm gonna take back first. And I'm gonna take it up and then down. So we went back, up, down. All right. So I'm still just in here pulling some of the needles out. Just a little bit of cleanup. I'm hoping to get branches right here like I was saying earlier. I'm gonna leave these needles alone right there. Uh, I'll take a few more out from the back back in here. And then basically I'm just leaving somewhere I'm hoping to get branches to pop at so I can point them in different directions here. Um, this little back guy, I'm still going to use the really thin wire here. And I'm just going to chase along with the rest of this here. Get the needles back out of my way there. Alright, so... Needles are out of the way, coming around. Gonna come around again. Actually, I'm gonna drop it down low and then come around. Bring it back around this way. And let me finish wiring this up and I'll be right back with you. All right, so as we can see that, Wire wasn't really doing too much anything right there as we tried to do that back bend on it. We're gonna need to... <laughs> Sorry, I did the other wire and then I was just looking and I'm like, oh man, this wire's not even doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, so now that one's held back in this direction right here. So, not 100% sure which way I'm gonna go with the leader here. So we may also take this one and bring this one back in that same direction. Now, I'm gonna take it over here and just let that one come up this way. That way it just kind of leaves me the option open for which way I wanna go with it. Um, sorry, this could have been like a super quick video, but I drug it out long again, as always. I had some of this nice thick wire. It's super loose, but I'm okay with that as well. I'm going to hope that everything works out real good with it. Um, sorry, I'm moving you over here so I can have a look at it real quick with you. And I feel like we're really coming forward here. I kind of need to come back a little bit. All right. So for now, that's going to be it. So this was my American white pine. And just trying to get it into a little bit of shape. Come spring, we'll get everything. We'll have to end up taking everything off, but pretty quick come springtime. Because it's going to take off and grow. So... We'll get the wires off in spring. Hope we get some good branches in where we want them at. And well, we'll check it out when we get there. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel because it helps me out. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you want to be notified whenever I release a new video, hit the bell notification. Thank you.